Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh, now, my, my fellow Americans, um, yeah, I've heard a lot of uproar and a lot of concern about what's going on in our great country and, and across the world as a whole. And just want to let you know, want you to understand that you have a say. While you may feel that you are not listened to, while you feel that we don't care, and that the government and everybody else does not, there are those of us that do. And while you may not understand the political process, or you may just not trust it, I have to ask you to please, please participate in the process. You, as an American citizen, have a right to vote, to understand what's going on with your Congress and your legislature, and to understand what is happening in your world around you. If you are frustrated with something that's going on, get involved. If you don't want people taking your guns, go. Petition. Talk to your senator. Talk to your congressman. Talk to your representatives. That's why they're there. If you voted for them and you put them in place, they're supposed to listen to you. Granted, some don't. But you have to try. You have to be a participant. Active participant. Just because you voted for someone does not mean that they're going to do everything they say. Just because you vote for someone does not mean that everything's going to go smoothly according to the plan and what you hoped and what you want. If you do not make your voice heard, no one will hear you. Participate in your government, whether it's local, state, federal, however you get involved. Get involved. If you don't vote, now's a very good time to vote. Some people are concerned about the people running for president right now. If there's one you like and one you don't like, get involved. Campaign for them. Vote for them. Get other people engaged as well. Because if you don't get anyone else engaged, then you're out there by yourself. If we, as the United States and as the American people, do not get together and vote and participate actively in our government, it's going to run over us. It will. But if we make our voices heard in the proper way, not by violence, acting out, causing riots and ruckus and everything like that, but petitioning our government by being an active, I'm going to say it again, active participant, educating ourselves. There's more to the internet than Snapchat and Instagram and Google and everything else out there. Use Google for the right thing. Look up your local congressman. Look up your local and federal and state people. Look up everybody that represents you. Get involved with little um, local groups. If you're a Democrat, get involved with young Democrats. Republican, young Republicans. Something. Because without you, without your support, if you don't get out there and work and educate yourself and be involved in the process, there is no longer a process. And we don't want the process to run over us. Don't want anybody to take your guns. Don't just post about it on Facebook. Go talk to your local uh, leaders. Don't think, if you think they should take the guns, talk to your local leader. If you think something's wrong, if you think, hey, we need a boost in our education, talk to your local leaders. Write to your governor. Not all these people are readily available by phone. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're very busy people. But you have to be involved. If you want change, if you want things to move forward, you cannot just elect someone and sit back and watch. If you voted for them, that means you used your voice. And just because you used your voice once doesn't mean you can't use it again. Stay involved. Petition government. Talk to your leaders. Write them. Email them. A lot of them are on social media now. Contact them through that. If you're like, oh, I don't have an email, I'm pretty sure you have a Facebook, Snapchat, Google Plus, or something. Contact them. Reach out to them. Reach out to their aides. Go to meetings and other events where they're talking and you go to your local meetings, even your town hall meetings. 
government may be big, but it starts small. It starts at home. If you're not an active participant, if you're not doing your due justice and your part and taking part in being an active member in your community and in government, what can you expect? You have to work towards the goals. And it's not easy. No one said you had to do it alone. But if you find like-minded individuals that you feel are courageous and passionate enough to petition government to be involved, get involved with them. And I'm not talking to everybody because some people don't want to be involved and some people don't trust it and understand. That comes with the territory, some people just, that's how they feel. But if you can and you want to see the world move in a positive direction, the United States, your town, your city, wherever, get involved. Raise your voice. Reach out. Work together for unity. Petition your government. Talk to your local leaders. Go to events that they may have. If they're speaking on something, go to your town hall meetings, whatever. Get off of the housewives of wherever. Go look at C-SPAN, CNN, Fox, MSNBN, MSNBC, somewhere. Watch the debates. Research the candidates. Choose one that you feel is passionate about as the same things you do. But be involved. Just because you elect someone doesn't mean you can sit back. The work has just begun. The struggle has just begun. So in closing, just remember, be a participant. Be an active participant. Don't just sit back and hope everything's going to go smooth now because you feel you elected the right person. Because just because they're present doesn't mean they can do everything by themselves. They still have to go through uh, other means. They still have to work with this Congress and Senate, with the House and Senate. Remember, be involved. Petition. Vote. Use your God-given rights. God bless America. God bless you.